those nasty people. All right. Don't give the money to the nasty people who sell bottles of water because they are really not very nice. Give money to the poor or to the guides or both. <laughs> um, yeah, that's my first tip. My second tip, obviously I mean the drinking fountains. I've got to say things, I know this sounds stupid, but I meet all sorts of people and once there's this guy who's drinking out of the Trevi fountain. No. Trevi fountain, the big fountains, no, that's where Americans go and throw up. And, uh, I mean the kids. The kids. A lot of them. Um, my second tip is, there's a lot to see in Rome. Please don't try and see it all, because you're going to ruin your holiday, guaranteed. I know that you won't. You don't want to get onto that flight with a feeling that you could have seen this and you wanted to see that. And you're, that feeling is what we die with. Yeah. You need two lifetimes to see everything in Rome. So forget about it, because you're never going to make it. Never. You're only going to ruin your holidays. And I see a lot of these. You are on holiday. I never forget, because I'm the only one who's not on holiday. A bit <laughs> depressing. Today it's fine. But, um, yeah, I see people who forget, normally they're going around with lists of things, ticking them off and they get lost by the Pantheon and um, they're hungry, they're tired and they're lost and for some reason they turn on each other, they get violent, like families with kids get violent, couples fall out, uh, friends also get quite vicious, don't get to that point because you're going to ruin your holiday, uh, you're trying to do too much, there's only so much you can do so much sightseeing you can do and I think it's half a day after half a day everything starts flying over your head and you can't remember a thing all you remember is you saw a church it was pretty and it was called Saint something we got about 900 of those so forget about it enjoy your holiday try something local when you go somewhere new uh, you try local things this is what we do always we're the best in the world at doing nothing so we've mastered this we sit in a bar we order drinks, we look at people, and we talk about them between us. So it is, honestly, it's great. It's one of the best things you can ever do. You do it for hours and hours, right? If you're not doing it for hours and hours, it's because you picked the wrong spot, the wrong bar. Move somewhere else and start again. Get a nice square or somewhere where there's lots of people. Try it, you might enjoy it. Bring it home as a, as a new hobby. But, um, yeah. The only way I know of seeing a lot of things in Rome is by bicycle. It's the only way I know. And uh, you can rent bikes all over the place. You can get a bike from Piazza del Popolo, which in an hour you can go from Piazza del Popolo to the Spanish Steps, to the Trevi Fountain, to the Pantheon, to Piazza Navona, Campo di Fiori, and back to Piazza del Popolo in one hour. And that includes you getting lost, which is a pleasure when you're on a bike. Uh, and it costs two or three euros. If you try to do it on foot, it will cost you, it will take seven hours, it will cost you your relationship and it will cost a lot of money in the evening to try and rebuild it up, like meals and presents and stuff like that. <laughs> um, I, wouldn't, I, I, I know you're a little bit intimidated on how we drive cars around here, that's totally understandable, um, as it's totally understandable why we do it. It's genetics. If you saw what happened in the Coliseum, we honestly still love killing people and animals, but it's illegal. It is highly legal to do it in the Coliseum, and so the only way we can do it is by driving. And uh, <laughs> unfortunately, we normally take it on the tourists. It's really easy. Those of you from the UK, for the love of God, please look left when you cross the road. It's quite an easy mistake to make. I've made it. I nearly died. I found a red, red bus in front of me like that. Um, yeah, look left because we also like to have a bit of a challenge. If you turn the radio, it's. Um, no, I'm not trying to kill anybody. By getting a bike, if you stay in the centre, the centre is pedestrianised. By law, we, we, can't, we can't drive in there to run you over. We can't come in there. We've got to wait for you outside. We don't to wait by the river. There's a big road by the river. We know you're going to cross the river at some point. So that's we know we wait for you. Um, but in the centre, you're fine. There's only residents and buses. Uh, and taxis. So get a chain, have a couple of drinks outside the bar, that builds the courage up and you'll be honestly, yeah, as long as you know how to cycle the bike, you love it. If you go to Trastevere, cross on foot, mm -hmm. it's on the other side of the river, because that's obviously where we're waiting for you, so just cross on foot, be very careful, and once you get into Trastevere, you're fine again on your bike. Um, Trastevere, by the way, is where the food is. Have you ever heard Italy's got the best food in the world? Yeah. It's true. 
told the truth, you don't have a clue where to find it, and I do. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Really? Do you want to know? Where? Yeah. Just the name. name. There isn't Just really a name. I don't like saying name. names of places because it sounds like it's my cousin who's got a restaurant. Um, <laughs> uh, there's areas. No one, no one in, in here in Rome eats in the centre. Nobody. It's not even for a laugh. It's not funny. Um, it's horrible. The food isn't even edible. It's stones most of the time with tomato and cheese on it. You don't find pigeons eating there or anything, so don't. <laughs> don't eat there because it's horrible. And it ruins my country's reputation for food as well. So um, if you are going to, it's called tourist menus and things. You know, all these things like for one euro you can eat five plates. Well, ask yourself why. Um, but um, we eat out of Rome because it's cheaper and it's nicer. But if you're going to eat in Rome, there's still two areas which are famous for their cuisine, and they are the Jewish Quarter and Trastevere, but not all of Trastevere. There's a part of Trastevere. Once I finish, I can circle them on your map so that you know where to go. Concentrate eating there. Save your money at lunchtime, go to a supermarket, get pizza. White pizza and mortadella is a classic here in Rome. It's lovely. And it's very cheap. Two euros a slab like that, and you're fine for seven hours. I know you can't find the supermarkets, they are there, they're camouflaged so that you walk into the bar and get ripped off, but they are there, I struggle to find them, um, you're just going to try a little bit harder, um, but yeah, go to these areas and have a great time, lovely food. My other tip is, when in Rome, do as the Romans, not eat, uh, not what I've met before, but do as the Romans in the sense, we don't queue, we don't do lines, we haven't tried on the still do. But I know they work in your countries, and some of them I've seen it, it's beautiful, it's incredible. But here they don't work, so don't bother getting into a line, because you're just wasting your time, and you're only here for a limited amount of time. So if you want my advice, whatever you find, whatever way you find of skipping a queue, do it. Do it, and skip it, because that's how it is. Um, things like joining a tour here might save you an hour, an hour and a half a day, which you can then use it to drink. Whatever you want to do. Um, if you're going to go to the Vatican museums, that's where the queues are even longer, and they can go from one country to one country. Basically, that's why they're famous here in Rome, because it could be an hour, you could be there two hours. I've heard people who've been there, three hours, <coughs> and it's not pleasurable. I lose the will to live after an hour of standing. Um, but um, if you're going, and then when you get in, you got to look for the information, which isn't there. So it's all a bit pointless. That's why I'm saying join the tour, you can skip the queue and go straight in. I'm going to give you some more information once I've finished about that, uh, once I've finished the tour. My okay, final tip lovely. is when you're going around Rome, please try and look up as much as possible. It sounds like a stupid thing, but you can see amazing things when you look up. I normally look down in case I find money or I fall over or something like that, but when you look up, you see buildings, you see windows, you can see some ceilings have got frescoes on them and they are incredible, people's houses. Be nosy. For centuries here in Rome, families have been going around areas like these, collecting things and putting them into their houses. It's called stealing in your country, but here it's called collecting. And, and they've been doing it for centuries and centuries, and including statues, three, four meter statues which they drag home uh, and then figure out it doesn't go through the door or the windows or the stairs or anything, and they have to leave them in their courtyards. Some courtyards in Rome are incredible. They are works of art. The amount of art in there is incredible. So, unfortunately, they're closed. What I do when I've got some time, and I'm walking around Rome, if I find a door open to a courtyard, I compose myself, I look quite serious, and then I go straight in <coughs> until they stop me, and then they say, what are you doing? I, just, I always say, I'm going up to see John. And they'll go, there's no John here. And, uh, <laughs> so I just look at the courtyard really well, and then I go, ah, I've got the wrong one, sorry. And I go to the next one to the next one and I keep on looking for joy and it's incredible it's fun it's free and you see beautiful things so it is as well it's not highly illegal as long as you uh, stay, stay out of uh, the parliament the senate the president's house the prime minister's house as long as you're not a little girl but, um, apart from that you're fine so stick to these tips and you'll have a great time here in Rome okay let's go thanks